way around, I'm going to try and get a little bit closer to the sea water. Right at the moment, I mean, this, this does look extremely severe. What time is it now? Half past ten. What, what can you tell us about the Tilbury power station at the moment? Uh, we've got a very serious developing file which is in the fuel storage cells that feed the hoppers which ultimately feed the burners at the power station. Um, any, how containable is this? At the moment, we're, what we're trying to establish, uh, we believe that two of the cells are on fire at present. That's around about four to six thousand tonnes of fuel. There is the potential for fire to spread between them via a conveyor belt, but obviously the fire is at the very highest part of the building. We believe there's already been uh, some damage to the structural integrity of the building and our major concern is that there'll be further structural damage. We're talking about buildings. Is everybody being evacuated from the building? When we initially arrived we were told that people were trapped and missing. We've carried out a search of the areas where they were reported to be. All personnel are safe now and our main focus is on keeping our crew safe and stopping the fire from developing. Yeah, obviously you've, you've, you've got an exclusion zone around the area but people are still walking their dogs so I assume you're not going to create an exclusion zone at all. Now the, the exclusion was really to stop. Uh, we sometimes get an awful lot of people drive down have a look we've got an awful lot of appliances we've got over 25 appliances here now it's a lot of personnel coming backwards and forwards so it's really for our convenience rather for any safety issues david thank you very much you're welcome